Hey, ladies and gents, welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator 2. We are taking 20 tons of explosive from uh, Aberdeen in Scotland down to Palermo in Italy. Um, and we are going to do it as fast as possible, as cheap as possible, um, and driving as crazily and as fastly as possible. I hope you've been enjoying this series so far. I've certainly been enjoying it. Uh, I'm a little bit paranoid about um, uh, the Euro Truck Simulator 2 people pushing an update. It seems like whenever they do that, it um, it will destroy whatever freight you're currently pulling. Uh, so I'm afraid that if I shut down and redo, um, that I'm going to lose my holy grail of, uh, of freights. So hopefully that will not happen, but um, uh, I'm going to try and do it all in one one run. So it may take five hours, I may be a little bit uh, delirious by the end, guys, but we'll try and pull through this together. Even though you probably will take breaks, I am not going to be taking uh, very many breaks here. Took me quite a long time to actually get this cargo to show up. Let's pause momentarily and check our map. So we are almost to Dover. We are almost out of the UK, guys. I think I said I was in Scotland the last episode. I was definitely not. Although I think someone had a, a Scottish flag. Which threw me off. Oh, come on. Where's the speed trap? I don't want to slow down before the speed trap. There it is, 97. I slowed down too much. What a wanker. Okay, I don't think a cop who's on the side of the road can actually give you a ticket. So I'm going to ignore that one. gas, not really. I think we get to sleep on the ship a little bit, so uh, whatever my tiredness level is should reset somewhat, depending on how long the, the boat trip is. Okay, gear 11. I don't know if we've gotten a single really good chance to uh, open up all the way to gear 12 and max it out. Just haven't had too many straight roads with low traffic, son of a bitch. That guy really wanted to die. Oh, and I damaged it too. Ugh. Oof. Oh, that's annoying. Okay. Well, that son of a bitch just cost me a lot of money. No, come on. Ugh. At least that time I didn't damage the cargo. Come on. So I'm hoping I don't take too much damage. Um... I will include that probably as like a separate tally. I'm guessing that by the time I get this all the way to uh, Palermo, I probably won't have made very much money at all. But we'll see. It should be very high experience, if nothing else. Oh, how'd that turn back on? It's not supposed to turn on. Oh, crap. Am I going to fall asleep? No, I'm almost there. I'm almost to the ship.
you know, I'm not sure if it's realistic or not that people would just like change lanes, even though you're a gigantic truck with DNT coming up right behind them at a high speed. I'd like to think that most people wouldn't do that, but I've never uh, had the chance to test that theory. Probably should have slammed the brakes. I mean, it was pretty obvious that... <laughs> it was pretty obvious that a collision was going to happen there. Probably a, a second or two before it did. Yes, I get it. You're very tired. I think I was well rested whenever uh, whenever I got this mission, so... I guess that means I've been driving about 11 hours. Oh, it's raining. That's pretty accurate. The UK is a very rainy place. Okay, now I don't know how this is going to work. I guess I just take any of these and it'll take me down. Alright, simple enough. Oh, is it a train? I guess it's actually a train. So I probably will not get any sleep, but we'll see. We are going to Calais. All right, let's get out of here. And my driver is still very tired. No! <laughs> Notice I'm now driving on the right side of the road because continental Europe is sensible and the UK is not. In case it wasn't obvious, I'm kidding. I think that it's very ridiculous uh, how seriously some people take the Imperial versus, uh, you know, Imperial versus uh, metric conversions, um, as well as right versus left side of the road. Some people take that very seriously, and it's just like, come on, grow up. It's not that hard to uh, do oh. one versus the other. It's not that hard to use crazy numbers in Imperial versus, you know, everything divisible by a thousand in metric, other than temperature, other than a few other things, but... Continue driving like a madman. We'll need to stop and uh, go to sleep as soon as I find somewhere to do that. A speed trap. I think it was. I believe it was.
Yes, I'm aware that I'm getting tired. Guess I don't really need... Well, it's raining. I should have my lights on. Lights on while raining, guys. Remember that. Pass on the shoulder. Pass on the shoulder for the heck of it. Okay, somewhere to sleep. So we'll get some gas and we will go to sleep. Yes, I'm well aware. Uh, looks like the places where you can actually go to sleep are up here. Yep, looks like it. So, we will get some rest. That was me sticking my head out the window. You notice that the window goes down instantly. Rain's coming down a little harder, so I think we can do the uh, windshield wipers a little faster. Wait. There we go. Mm, don't like this. What's going on? Haha, uh -huh, you already pulled someone over. I'm going way faster than them. Now is this... I'm pretty sure this thing is a... Uh... Okay, that was a really weird color shift. I don't know what the heck that was. Everything suddenly got bright and blue. Okay, can I bully this cop? No, not really. I just want to bully him off the road, you know? That's all I wanted in life. Maybe if I honk at him. You know, I'm not a huge fan of the uh, of the horn on these ones. Uh, on the Volvos, it's kind of a more normal truck horn. These ones are kind of like a synthesizer. Me. This makes it sound like I'm composing music and not so much angrily telling someone to get out of my way.
Awesome, we are cop free. So let's now drive like a total crazy person. I don't think I even took damage. Dang it! No, my trailer! <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> the funny thing is like, in real life people would just be like, trying to get the hell out of my way. But no, they just drive like nothing's wrong. <laughs> What is this? Are we going into Germany? Uh, I think we might be. I can't quite see the... I can't quite tell which is the... the border, but... I think we very well might... very well might be. I haven't gotten any tickets lately, but the um, the loss of income from the trailer repair, as well as the uh, the repairs for my truck, are gonna be ridiculous. The truck itself is really expensive, uh, and then losing like like say they take four percent off of the total amount I'm getting. I mean that's like. Oh goodness, it's like 5,000 euros right there. That's harsh. 6,000, I don't know. Pass on the shoulder, like always. Honk this guy to get out of our way. Okay, what's this? I'm gonna slow down. Oh no, we got two lanes. I wish I hadn't slowed down. <laughs> so I'm probably going towards Colm. Nope. I'm in fact going towards Luxembourg. You know, I selected this truck, oh, son of a bitch, I selected this truck based off of its max speed, but based on how many times we've gotten to its max, its max speed, uh, I'm not sure that was a terribly wise choice. May have been better off going with my uh, Volvo. Which I actually did get to the max speed pretty regularly. Which was 150, give or take. That's fine though, I've gone off the uh, odometer squ scale quite a few times. Almost every time I get into 11th gear. So I'm probably going pretty close to 150 right now. Hmm. 
Okay, which way am I going? I don't know yet. Going straight. Ah, bastards. Clear path. Clear path, you bastards. sharp turn here. Okay. Wow. That was a total jackass move. Like people just ignore you. They literally just ignore whatever you're doing. Like, oh, I was changing lanes. Ha, huh, I guess I'll still change lanes. Alright guys, that concludes another episode. I uh, hope you liked it. If so, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, appreciate you guys, and I'll see you in the next episode.